exquisite fabrics and patterns which date back to the 16th century. These were the inspirations for an exhibition aptly called Draped in Silk, The Journey of the Manton de Manila. Check this out. Galleon ships from the 16th century carried precious cargo from Manila to Europe. Massive vessels held not only merchandise but also the fragments of a culture, the ties that would connect the East and West. From their oriental roots, these articles of clothing would eventually find their way in the different dances, the Sevillanas and the Jotas, and in practically the daily life of the Spaniards. What we try to do here is to put together a number of sub-exhibitions under one general title, and that is to trace the journey of the Manton de Manila. And for those people who don't know what the Manton de Manila is, it is actually the silk shawls which were embroidered in China and went to Europe during the 16th century galleon trade. Now what happened was that when it got to Europe, people actually thought it was the as, um, Manton from Manila, but in reality it was actually a Manton from China. Fast forward to the present, a number of talented contemporary artists were challenged to come up with works that would highlight the historical significance of the Manton de Manila. Drawing inspiration from the Spanish elements of the Manton, using a disappearing art form, juxtaposing flowers, foliage and discarded materials, and experimenting with Manton-inspired images were just some of the memorable pieces in the exhibition. Planning the works uh, takes longer. It takes longer to assimilate everything or the concept. But uh, producing it uh, takes a shorter time because you, I'd want the effect to be spontaneous. The form is Chinese, but the technique is a technique brought from Spain, taught to Filipino craftsmen. A lot of them, by the way, were Chinese, the craftsmen, the, the artists. So I thought it was a good hybrid to present on for this exhibit. And the, the, the flowers that are painted on it are Manton designs. On a more sort of um, deep level, it really um, was meant to express um, how I see what being a Filipina is all about. We're actually a combination of many cultures, and I think that um, this uniqueness is reflected in, in our character, in the way that we do things. So I think that all of that is represented in, in the work that I did. Things come full circle with this work. It was really exciting for me to do this, to be part of this exhibit, because I have been for more than 25 years just doing my Mindanao compositions. No? I'm just glad that I was able to do something different and enjoyed it also. Among the contributors were two equally talented siblings who had different interpretations of the Mantones. One was through an art installation, and the other through a hauntingly beautiful photograph. My work is um, called She Never Did Care About the Little Things. It's my interpretation of the Mantones de Manila. It's um, a sculpture of beaten metal um, with cultivated rust. It also makes use of light, chair and shadow. I don't like my themes to be so literal, so um, this way it's mysterious, it's subject to the viewer's interpretation. My concept here was to document an entire lifetime in only seven days. So as you know, rose petals, they wilt. So I wore the mask for seven consecutive days and I documented myself wearing the mask for those seven days so you can see like the progressive decay of the rose petals. I wanted to pinpoint the lack of our country's historiographical identity. From original contemporary pieces to a private collection of Filipiniana, which embodies the epitome of Filipino craftsmanship, this exhibition truly addresses the essence of our artistry through the centuries. The theme being Manton de Manila, which is actually shawls made from Shanghai, right? But because of our exposure to that art and because of our exposure to Spanish influences and Chinese influences, the Filipino was able to interpret in his own way and create with his own hands these masterpieces that we all should be proud of. Well, this is a very rich 
source of inspiration, a very rich source of education as well, especially for students. It's a very rare uh, opportunity that comes along not very often. Try to look closely, very closely, because you will see that the Philippine history and the Filipino person is very complex and very beautiful. Trace the rich legacy of the trade routes. Wrap yourself in the exquisite folds of the Manton de Manila. Get creative and share a piece of history with others.